with Nadine Hutchison, also known as Dini, CEO and founder of Bling Dini. Hi, Manny. So lovely to see you. So can you show me a sample of your creations, like that, that, your ring? This is one of is this one of your creations? Yes, it is. This it's is this brilliant. is a Swarovski crystal ring. Love so it's it. like encrusted with like Swarovski crystals, a 14 karat gold plate base. So how much would something like this cost? Uh, this will retail retail at 58 pounds. We do these in orange, pink, blue, silver, and gold. So we sell continuously well, you know, month after month, season after season. So this is one of my cash cows, a Swarovski crystal ring. So how did you get into this line of business and what inspired you? Um, Bling Dini literally came from nowhere overnight. I was like, you know what, I want to start doing some jewellery samples for myself just to see how it goes for fun. And when I would wear these items, people would be like, wow, where's that from? Or wow, can I buy it or make one for me? And I was like, you know what, let's just try and experiment and do something different. So I turned my back on an amazing career of fashion, styling and consulting, making lots of money, took a huge risk, started Bling Dini. Uh, that was 2008, so two years ago. Um, and since then, it's just literally grown and grown and grown, and we you know we have international status. There's a couple of things that really capture my attention of, of a, a very strong part of my life, and that's Japanese culture and Jamaican dancehall culture. And the correlation between the two, you know, like the dancehall scene in Japan is absolutely huge. If you go to Japan, you hear dancehall wherever you go in certain areas. If you go to Jamaica, in the dancehall scene, 25% is Japanese people. I've seen quite a few celebrities wearing your jewellery, like Kelly Rowland for one. I think I saw Amy Winehouse. Who else? And how did this come about? We launched in 2008, straight away, fortunately, I kind of got this, it was like a big hoo-ha with the press of Blingdini and jewellery and, um, and the phone started ringing and um, Kelly Rowland, a very good friend of mine, writes closely with her manager, and she was in the UK looking for some jewellery to uh, was it the Mobo? It was something, it wasn't the Mobos, MTV Music Awards, um, and she'd seen a couple of items of Blingdini and personally requested to, to um, buy some items, so we sent over a selection and she yeah she's been spotted all over the place in America where my jewelry Amy Winehouse a very similar thing actually a very good friend of hers I know is her stylist was like Amy would love these can I have a pair she bought a pair for her then she kept ordering more um, but aside from her I've had like a complete mix and blend we've had Mary J Blige in the jewelry Kelly Osborne in the jewellery, um, Cheryl Cole, there's been loads of people, yeah. Naomi Campbell's been shot in it for Russian Vogue, so is Claudia yeah. Schiffer. So I've had like a real kind of mix and blend of different people in the creative world of jewellery. So, I mean, I'm not a celebrity chaser, but in this day and age, the power of celebrity is huge promotion. and how it can, it's promotion and we live in a celebrity driven culture. Okay, you're taking us to one of your main stockists. Can you tell us a little bit about them? With Wolf and Badger, before they opened, a very good friend of mine, um, but also as a designer, was aware that this new concept shop was opening and she gave me the contact details of the creative directors. Um, and how they went about selecting designers is you had to kind of go through like this X Factor process. You had to come down with your designs, they had a look, they grilled you, gave you feedback, um, and then contacted you as to whether or not they thought it would possibly work. When they first saw me, I met with Zoe Knight and um, Samir. Um, they're fantastic, really, really great, strong team. They loved something about Blingdini, but their initial reaction was just like, wow, it's too much. There was so much colour on the table, so many different styles. It was too confusing for the eye. So they were like, we know we like something here, but this is too much. Can you go away and come back like in a few weeks with like a limited, more condensed collection? That's just as strong as what you're showing me, but not as much. So I did that. And they were like, you know what? We love Blingdini. We love the idea. We love the concept. We love the products. We love you. Um, and we'd love to stock you. Let's give it a try and see how it goes so the shop opens in February and I was stocked in the shop for the opening um, and it's been great